How are you? Rockstar Dad here. So today I'm going to have a little go at doing a reaction video on a trending video at the moment. The girl's name is Olivia Rodrigo. Rodriguez and the song is Bad Idea. Right, here we go. stop there I should stop yes so first reaction very catchy I'm not surprised it's a hit record um they're using a riff do 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 which is an old soul um based riff bass line guitar line a lot of songs use it she's using the basic structure of verse bridge chorus the bridge is very catchy, and um, the chorus is very catchy, it's very melodic. I'm not sure about the swearing. Did uh, swe <laughs> Swearing in certain songs works for me. On other songs, the swearing just seems like... Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't think they need swearing on a song like that. Especially when there's kids listening to that. Um, I'm just looking here at what, um, I think the girl's like a, she's a Disney actress kind of thing. So there's a lot of kids going to be watching this stuff. And um, come on, kids don't need to know. I mean, they know the swear words, but you don't need to chuck it in their faces. I would remove the swear words. The chorus is... Um, it's got that Bob Dylan subterranean blues. Da -ba -da -da -do -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. You know, it doesn't stop. You can't take a breath, which is a really catchy thing to do. Billy Joel used it on We Didn't Start a Fire. They're being clever. They're using elements of other songs, but they're not copying them directly. You can tell where they've taken the idea from, but it's not an absolute copy. They've taken it, developed it. It's yours, as far as I'm concerned, then. Let's move on. Let's continue. I'll be there, soon. No hitchhikers this time. And I told my friends it was asleep, but I never said where in his jeans. And I pull up to your place on the second floor, and you're standing smiling at the door. And I'm sure I've seen much hotter men, but I really can't remember when. My brain goes, oh, can't hear myself, I can't So what I do like about it is kind of, they've taken that element from Rage Against the Machine, it won't do you to tell me. They've taken that element of crescendo, build it up in the chorus, so the bridge comes along, it says here's the chorus coming, it's building up, and woof, they bring it down, which... It's a real good attention grabber for a pop song, you know, it's, it's, it's a real good thing to do. Why are young people in the world we're living in today, they're writing songs about being attracted to the opposite sex? Now, I know since day one that's what songs have been written about, but is there nothing more nitty-gritty people can write about nowadays? There's, there's some real interesting things happening in the world. Seeing you tonight is like... Oh man, come on, give give me some juice to to get into, man. Um, young people must be really pissed off at the moment with the state of the world. Write about that stuff. That's what we want to hear about. Again, if it's Disney, okay, young people are, you know, 
in the mating game. They're going to be seeing each other. They want to listen to songs about that. That's interesting. But young people are also not stupid. They're, they want to hear about topics that are happening in the world. They don't just want to switch on the news and hear about that or hear their father or mother talk about that. Young people want to hear other cool young people talk about things that are actually happening in the world at the moment. It's a good song. I'm not slating the song at all, but it's just it's kind of more like the state of pop music, which is pop music's always been the same. It's it, it doesn't really touch most of it. Doesn't touch on subjects. It's going to make you go, "Ooh, that's interesting." Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, yeah, the guitar work, it's obviously rock based, you know, it's like I said, it's got this blues soul bass riff. Do, 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 I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. That's what it has come from. And midnight hour is, you can trace that back, but that's what it comes from, that riff. They have developed it, they're using other notes in it, which is really cool. Some of those sound effects that guitarist is playing are really cool. I'd be interested to know who's playing the guitar on that track, they're really nice. The harmonies on the record, they sound great. It's quite a minimalistic um, production when you, when you look at it. It's really just basically guitars, bass, drums, vocals. There's a few keyboard effects in there in the background. The vocals do sound really, really nice. It's very catchy. It's coming in there at, what, 3 minutes 10. Perfect pop song. Let's look a little bit at Olivia Rodriguez. So, yeah, like I said, she's, I think... Yeah, a Disney actress. I know a lot of people slag off people saying, oh, they're just Disney. Man, it doesn't matter where you come from. If you make good music, good music is good music, you know. I know people that go through the whole Disney school sometimes come across as being nurtured talent. But everybody's got their, you know, their own paths to travel in life. You know, some people have real hardships to face. Other people have got smaller hardships. Life's not easy, right? She's won a whole bunch of awards. She's only 20 years old. Now, at 20 years old, you're going to be working with a lot of people to to create your sound like that. Um, I've not looked at the production list on the song, but I'm guessing there's a lot of people behind that record kind of helping her make it what it is. She's won three Grammy Awards, three number ones in the Billboard Challenge, one number one album she's won an american music award seven billboard music awards three mtv awards i mean it shows you what kind of dinosaur i am and i'm pretty much out of touch with this kind of music I, i've never heard it <laughs> but i don't listen to a lot of pop stuff nowadays vocal lessons in kindergarten yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, I like the song. I think that's a really cool song. It's got real nice musical elements in it. It's got some really well-produced parts to it. It's a well-written song. My only gripe would be, words-wise, come on, pop writers, give us something to get our teeth into. The world is is a real kind of a real kind of point now where there's a lot of people fighting it's fight or flee time you know for a lot of people there's so much there's wars going on there's viruses there's a whole bunch of stuff out there sing about it <laughs> we don't want to we don't want a boyfriend girlfriend whatever you're into kind of thing anymore it's like that's boring shit. 
it's like write songs about stuff we can get our teeth into even the kids can listen to and grow up with you know and as far as the swear words are concerned nah nah not with that otherwise big thumbs up massive great pop song well done Olivia Rodriguez. Rodriguez I'll see you next one subscribe please all the best <laughs>